Hey y'all, this is Brett and today I'm going to show you some stress reduction activities, exercises that you can do to release the tension in your mind. And one of the things that people need to do is meditate, but I want to put it in a different way. You know, meditation is really just relaxing the mind. And when one of your muscles, your back gets sore, or you're just tired, what you do is you relax. You know that you need to instinctually just lay down and relax. And so, what you need to do is relax the mind, because you've got all these thoughts going on in your head all day. You're thinking about, oh, I need to do this, and I need to do that, and oh my God, what if that happens, and you get worried, etc. And so... What you need to do is just relax the mind. Just lay down on the floor and breathe. The breath is always something that you want to do when you're doing all these exercises. It's something to focus on if you've got a lot of monkey brain going on in there. <clears throat> and so, what you do is you just blank your brain or you focus on the breath. Maybe close your eyes because <clears throat> when your eyes are closed, then it's not giving you the visual stimulation. If you've got noise going on, you may want to get rid of that so that you get rid of the audio stimulation. And um, just relax your mind. Don't think about anything. Become a zombie. Just like... <laughs> Look out into space. Walk around all day. Relax your mind while you're, you're doing your things. Because a lot of the things you don't need to think about. So you can just kind of... People look at you and they're like... Oh, that guy looks like a zombie. <laughs> and so, just walk around in a state of in the now, as Eckhart Tolle <clears throat> describes it. Focusing on only that moment. And another thing that you can do is to take a good wooden bristle brush like this, a bass brush, and just brush your head. This is stimulating your brain. Anytime you work directly on something, you're stimulating it. And people will get imbalances in their brains, chemical imbalances. And when you just keep doing this, and you make it a regular thing that you do, you could do it the other way. I'm going to look funny. And you're distributing the energy all around your brain. <sighs> Remember to keep breathing. And so, another thing that you can do is to massage your face. Uh, people will do this naturally. They'll just, they'll just they know that they're they're like stressed, and they'll be like. Uh, uh. No, keep doing it. Keep doing it. Ah. Rub your nose. That's your heart. Ah. Rub your eyes. Oh my God, that feels good. All these parts of your face, they reflex to all the different parts in your body. And so when you're doing this, you're healing all parts of your body because you're stimulating them to get going energetically. And you're stimulating the movement of nutrients to those areas. And that is life. Anytime you have movement, that's life. When it's still, that's death. So if you take the time to do all the exercises, you're just like, it's like you're, 
your banking points of life. You're creating, you're building uh, an energetic resistance to the opposite, death. And so, <clears throat> another thing that you can do is roll your head around. Oh, roll your head around. Your neck is mostly connected to your, I believe it's called the medulla oblongata part of the brain back here. And when you do this, you're affecting that because you're stretching your neck muscles that are directly connected to it. And while you're doing that, stretch and massage. Cup your hand like that and squeeze and move. Squeeze and move. I can see you doing it. I know you're doing this at home. <laughs> Whenever you see somebody doing something, you just kind of start doing it yourself. Don't be embarrassed to do it, because nobody's watching you, right? <laughs> so, do these, too, here. Do these. Oh, oh, oh. You make noises, too. It's good to, to make, like, like, relieving noises. Like, if you could imagine the sound of pain. Oh, then you're releasing it. And someday they'll prove that sound is, is like releasing sound is helping you to detox. On Thursday I'm going to go to the sound healing thing at the Dobra Tea House. Uh, 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 now stretch your shoulders. That's another thing there to add to your list. <clears throat> Making sounds. Ah! You might also scream, yell some things. Or cry, you know, whatever you need to get out emotionally. Do that as well. Roll your shoulders. This is a really good one for stress. Okay, there's all kinds of acupressure points that are involved with this. <clears throat> there are um, gallbladder meridian points all on the side of your head. These are small intestine here, I believe. Back here, there are urinary bladder meridian points. And if you hear all that cracking like I'm hearing back there now, you know that that's not a healthy and desirable thing to have in your body. A bunch of cracking, little cracking noises going on. And if it feels sore when you're going like that, you know. And this is all stuff that people need to do that they don't realize that that these physical activities help them mentally. And then the opposite is that they don't realize that when they're getting tighter and tighter from doing some activity for long periods of time, where they're kind of oftentimes a work-related uh, activity, that they're kind of stuck doing that, then you know they don't realize that what they need to do for their breaks their 15 minute break is to go uncork by doing all of these exercises and others. There's so many, there's a zillion exercises for you to do to uncork and release your body and thus your mind because they're
connected. So, thanks for joining me and stay healthy, move towards vegan, get more natural and eat more local and eat more uh, seasonal. And um, stay tuned and subscribe because soon I'm going to show you how to make raw winter food. Bye.